Hello everyone, welcome to grade 8 Combined Business Studies, first class for Hertko International School. We will start with chapter 1, Production Decision, What to Produce. The chapter starts with the definition for business. You have heard the term so many times, let's define it properly today. Business is the production, distribution and exchange of goods and services for making profit. Let's understand each of these terms. Production means making something, a good or a service. When a doctor is giving you treatment, giving you advice that is a service, he is not making any product that you can see or touch. But when you are buying a ketchup from the store, that is a good. So production can be both of goods and of services. Next, they have to distribute it up to the market so that we consumers can purchase them. And exchange of goods and services means whenever we are dealing with money, if I am buying something, I have to pay something in return. That is what we mean by exchange or another word is there that is transaction. Let's look into the various types of goods and services we have. We have tangible goods. We have intangible goods that we call the services. Under tangible goods, we have consumer goods those goods that we consumers use in general others are producer goods that are only used by businessmen manufacturer under consumer goods we have certain goods that are durable that means long lasting they don't get broken or rotten easily on the other hand we have non-durable those do not last for a long period of time under intangible services again we have some services that are used by consumers only such as your doctor service teacher service policeman service and we have certain services that we as consumers do not use but these are needed for business purpose only used by producers such as the service provided by an advertising agency or bank or insurance company bank and insurance company they serve both the producer and consumer so we can categorize them as both producer service and consumer service let's have some details on each of these categories tangible goods the goods which can be seen and touched is known as tangible goods for example juice computer clothes intangible cannot be seen or touched we can feel them and we can see the process of the service not the service itself for example listening to music teaching consumer goods goods directly consumed by final consumer it has direct demand okay what is direct demand that means it is directly going from the manufacturer to the final consumer the product is wanted for consuming we will eat it or we will use it ourselves like burger or writing with a pen or using soap producers goods these types of goods are used for further production purpose not for consuming or using directly they have derived demand such as machinery raw material why this goods because machine is used for producing something else we don't buy machine just for keeping it in our home we don't buy raw material that means resources minerals for keeping it there we use it for making something else out of it so we say they have derived demand not direct demand the other kinds of goods and services consumer durable good 
the goods consumers use for longer period of time for example computer furniture refrigerator non durable cosmetics toiletries food consumer service for example service of doctor teacher and other entertainment like you are going to watch a movie products or service banking advertising consulting firms okay so let's look at the purpose of business the business is operated mainly with three purposes combine factors of production to create goods and services that means they produce the goods and services combining different materials and these materials mainly involve raw materials minerals land labor machinery etc they make goods and services to satisfy people's wants and employ people or the workers and pays them wages so they can consume other goods or products so whenever i'm employing a labor i have to pay him something in return we may call it salary we may call it income but a proper term is wage that is paid based on how many number of hours a labor is working what is the difference between business and charity organization or you are familiar with the term ngo non government organization those are charity organizations let's look at the difference business organization is run for making profit that means there has to be a gain profit as in if i buy something for 12 taka and sell it for 15 taka 3 taka is my profit charity organizations do not run for profit business sells goods and services to everyone charity sells them to specific group of people mainly it produces services produces some kind of help for the poor people business funded by loan or entrepreneur's own saving the entrepreneur will be taking bank loan or he will start from his own saving like you did during business fair and then again charity funded by domestic or foreign grants some kind people will be giving it grant an amount that you don't have to return it just stays with you that's that from chapter 1 stay connected and thank you for watching